It's July 2008, and in the suburbs of Cincinnati, an insect invasion is about to begin. These periodical cicada nymphs have lived a foot underground for nearly two decades. Across vast areas of the state of Ohio, 10 billion cicadas are on the move. In the 17th year, when the ground warms to 64 degrees Fahrenheit, they all head toward the surface and keep right on going. Their marching orders are genetically programmed, and so is their timing. Cicadas hide underground for so long to avoid being decimated by predators, like reptiles, birds, and squirrels. These natural enemies would love the extra food, but they can't time their breeding cycles to cash in on it. 17 years is too long to wait. But there's one enemy the cicada's genetic hard wiring can't overcome, concrete. Parking lots and housing developments built over the last 17 years will trap millions of nymphs underground. It's Memorial Day in Cincinnati. With people absorbed in the festivities, the cicadas go mostly unnoticed at first. But all this is about to change. And so are the cicadas. The nymphs anchor themselves on a tree or post and transform themselves as only an insect can. From something weird looking into something even weirder. The adults that emerge from the ugly brown shells have soft white bodies. Within an hour, they will harden and darken. Within four to six days, all cicadas will undergo the same transformation. But before these crumpled wings can fly, they must be pumped full of blood, a marvel of insect hydraulics. Adult cicadas don't bite or sting, carry diseases, or ruin crops. They may look gross, but they are harmless and impossible to ignore. Periodical cicadas are the heavy metal stars of the insect world. Their group mating song, called a chorus, can be as loud as 100 decibels. The decibel level inside a rumbling subway car, 94. The constant ear-splitting hum will last for weeks. Only male cicadas make this sound by vibrating drum-like membranes in their exoskeletons. They adjust the tone of their song by moving their abdomens toward or away from the tree they're on. Like other massive insect swarms, cicadas overwhelm their enemies through a tactic called predator satiation. In their first week above ground, the slow-moving insects are an all-you-can-eat buffet for all sorts of animals. But soon, the predators get so full, they leave the cicadas alone. The sacrifice of the few ensures the survival of the group. But safety in numbers doesn't equal swarm intelligence. 
it's still every bug for itself. But they do manage to achieve their primary goal. Guided by the male's loud siren song, the majority find each other and mate. Then the females use their egg-laying tube as a saw to cut a slit under the bark, depositing 30 eggs in each incision. Their only job in life complete, the cicadas drop dead by the millions. Having spent the entire span of a human childhood underground, their adult life is over in just three weeks of sex, eggs, and rock and roll. In 2008, Midwest cities like Cincinnati were struck with a massive cleanup job. Hundreds of tons of dead and dying carcasses from just this single emergence. Brood two cicadas are already here. So get ready, this year's cicada invasion is rolling up the eastern seaboard from North Carolina to the Hudson Valley in New York.